British Airways is a full-service global airline offering year-round low fares with extensive global route network, flying to and from central locations around the world. They celebrated their 90th birthday on the 29th of August in style. The British Airways website summarised the performance of the airline in August 2010 compared to that month of the previous year. Passenger revenue kilometres have decreased by approximately 2.9%. This is reflected more so in premium traffic than non-premium traffic. The year-on-year reduction in premium traffic is due to professional activity in premium cabins last year. Cargo measured in cargo tonne kilometres rose by 3.4%. Market conditions remain as previously anticipated, with overall summer volumes slightly lower than the peak levels seen last year and strong yield performance in both premium and non-premium. The role of Chief Financial Officer is currently filed in 2010 by Keith Williams. This role brings with it several challenges in the day-to-day management of the finance of a large multinational company like British Airways. One of these challenges currently is the danger the British Airways Pension Fund liability poses to their merger with Iberia Airline and to the existing cash flow of the company. The proposed merger with the Spanish flag carrier Iberia is believed to be the answer to many of the operational challenges in British Airways is currently facing. This, however, is threatened by the black hole of a pension deficit to the tune of $2.7 billion. As part of the deal, British Airways will continue its annual contribution of $330 million, which will not be enough to current the current deficit, adding an extra 3% each year for inflation, paying additional funds into the pension account once it reserves reach $1.8 billion. This seems unachievable, even though if it was, it will take until 2023 before the deficit can be filled with extra payments of 3% per annum, an additional contribution above the target reserve. The deficit arose as a result of the fact that British Airways has been generating losses, and the merger with Iberia is aimed at stopping these losses. However, the merger may not be likely if British Airways cannot find a solution to her pension deficit problem. Perhaps things would look brighter if there was not a loss of £531 million and an end came to the strike problems. This is compounded by the fact that the other airlines are pricing British Airways out of the market, as well as offering more routes and flexibility of journeys. British Airways has entered into an agreement with the pension fund to commit to extra payments at the end of the year, subject to reserves standing at £1.8 billion. This may be a reality, as the reserves currently stand at £1.629 billion. 937 million share premium and 692 million other reserves as of end of the 2009 financial year. This is subject to approval by the pensions regulator in the UK. This is one of the main conditions placed on the table by Iberia linked to proposed merger. It is surprising that even though the parties started negotiations back in August 2009, a pre-merger deal was only signed in April of 2010. The delays have largely been as a result of the pension fund deficit. This deal can be taken off the table at any time by Iberia if they are not satisfied by the actions of British Airways in getting themselves out of this conundrum placed on them by their pension fund deficit. How did this corporate nightmare happen? How did it start and what concept of finance was the main reason behind such a huge deficit?